Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Ochinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on that hill, OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Ogeshi James. I located OPM. I located OPM September 13, 2015. September this year. <laughs> so I came here with many afflictions. This snake you see here, I cannot turn it completely two weeks before I came to OPM. Which leg? The neck. Cannot she cannot it. turn it completely. Two weeks. Two weeks before she located OPM. Uh -huh. what so I as I came that day, I took assignment. Following day being Monday, I took my mercy prayer. After the mercy prayer, I began to turn my neck. Live for Jesus, everybody. After her mercy prayer, she came on a Sunday, and on a Monday. She did her mercy prayers. And after that day, she began to turn her neck very well. Uh -huh. So, and the, the assignment I took was water spirit. Water spirit? This water spirit has tormented me so long that I can't even speak to the midst of people. Even when I go to the market, I cannot talk because... The water spirit just brought hatred. I don't know what to do. But after I started the, the prayer that I took, something began to happen in my life. Something began to happen in her life. Immediately she took the assignment on water spirit. Something began to happen in her life. As many here, once you take assignment and start it, something will begin to happen in your life. Amen. Uh -huh. So along the assignment, I cannot eat in the dream. I cannot swim. I cannot make love in the dream. I began to do my assignment and be going on and on. So after two weeks of the prayer, I saw myself in the river. A man came out from the river and said, You, this girl, it's like you have the power now to challenge me. Since I have been holding you for so many years. I have been holding you for so many years. Where did you go? Where I have seen that you have gone to a higher place. Now, let's see. Uh -huh. Now, you think that you can overthrow me. You think you can overthrow me. Now, let's see. Uh -huh. I said, see, let me tell you, as you can see me, the ogre that you know before is no more ogre you know today. The ogre that you know before is no more the ogre you know today. Because I have located Omega Power Ministries, where power dwells. We fight, fight, fight. I called Dr. Jesus in action. Where are you? I need your action now. The man disappeared. As he disappeared, I began to come out from the water. As I come out from there, I wake up. I say, thank you, Jesus. Live for Jesus, everybody. She's free. She's free. She's free from water spirit. From that wicked man that's only defiling her in the dream. She's free. Uh -huh. So since then, my business has been moving. Because for three years, I started the business. 
instead of the business to be going on, it will come in that I will be borrowing. So here, here and there, nothing happened. But since ever I started the prayer, something has been happened. Even my messes that the devil have seized. Jesus. Even her messes, they will see her messes. For how many months? For 10 years now. And I have been working for so many places to see the solution. No way. So many places like what? Church and church. Church and church. Even a place that the man of God said that he will sleep with me. Even the place the man of God said before I will deliver you from other spirits. I will put my thing inside your thing. Wickedness. 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 Ndoshi. Wickedness. Uh -huh. That he will suck my breast also. I said no. That he will do what? He will suck my breast. Ndoshi. Uh -huh. I said no. I cannot do it. I ran out. Uh -huh. I ran out from there. Since then, I have been going to church. Because, Since then, because of what that man did, he is not a man of God. He is a man of devil. A man of Satan. Because of what that man did, she said, I cannot go to church again. Many people have decided not to go to church again because of what has happened to them. Many. Many. Uh -huh. So, before I now located OPM, since then it has been faithful to me. And even my business body menstruation, last month it came out. Last month, her message that was since for 10 years came out. And I come here today to return all the glory, the honor, majesty to God Almighty. Amen. Nina. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Ebimiowe Yola Akan. I'm from Kolokuma Opokuma Local Government of Bayelsa State. My <laughs> testimony goes like this. I, 25 years ago, I never knew I have water spirit wife until I came to this church. When I came in, water spirit, water spirit, and I've been having series of problems. Even when I wanted to gain admission into the university, in the admission office, a woman, the officer in charge, just saw my certificate and said, you are not qualified. Hey! Meanwhile, I have a very bright certificate. Anyone will look at it and I appreciate. That's how the woman wrote, not qualified on my certification letter. I have to go out. So I said, no, I'm qualified. So I rushed back to jam office. They gave me another letter, to another admission letter to read mathematics, which I did and graduated, unknown to the woman. After that, the series of problems have been happening to me. Anytime I want to do a positive thing, get a positive thing, the next day I am due for an interview or a good thing will enter my hand. A woman will stand before me in the night naked and that thing I want to get will get lost. Hey! That is what I've been experiencing. But I never knew it was a spirit wife issue. Until do you I know that some churches don't teach this? The church don't teach this. My people perish for lack of knowledge. That is why, thank God for opium, we expose some of these things. So many times, they don't teach you about your blood. They won't teach you about witchcraft. He, and he was dying gradually for 20 something years. Because he was blinded by his church that couldn't teach him about spiritual warfare. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in the process, I now decided to take an assignment on water spirit. Mm. On the 30th of November, I went through the process for uh, mercy prayer. On the 1st, I started 
the 21 nights prayer. Huh? Immediately after it, one day a woman came to me and invited me in the dream. Invited me to her house. I don't know how I can easily walk down to her house. I was in the house. Suddenly, breeze was blowing. The woman said, ah, my husband is coming, my husband is coming. Go and hide under the bed. I said, me? To hide under which bed now? He will kill me, oh. He will kill me, oh. Please, oh, please, oh. I said, you can hide because I'm not here for anything. So the woman went and hid herself under the bed. I was by the door. When he came, he said, ah, welcome, sir. Wait. Who are you? Who, 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 who did like this? The husband, the of, husband of the woman said, uh, welcome, sir. I said, who are you? I said, I came with your wife to your house, but she brought me here. He said, my wife brought you here. Are you the man that she's holding your things? I said, I don't know. But Wait, fuck it again. Are you the man that she's holding your things? I said, I don't know, but I know that I have issues with me. I don't know who is holding it. He said, okay, don't worry. She will release everything to you. By 2000, it was a dream of, by 2016, you will receive back everything. So, I was so glad. I don't want to ask him any question. I decided to move and I walked away. As I was going, I just find myself, I find out that I was dreaming. I say, wow, this is God on ground. It doesn't take God a year to change your life. It takes God a second to change your life. I don't care how people are looking at you now. I don't care the shame you'll be facing. If I be a man of God, your situation must change. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuz Ochinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on that hill. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Indeed, God is here. I bear the witness that God is here. My name is Oton Obagutomabasi, Elijah. I come from a Kwaibom state. Clap up for Jesus, everybody. My testimony goes like this. You know, some people here, maybe when you hear about somebody give a testimony, except maybe the kind of thing that some people experience, it, and you experience it, you will know that. He placed somebody had to give a testimony here. In fact, for since 98, I was 90, 98 NMS, Nigeria Metro School. So I supposed to pass out on 2004. But indeed, when you hear about nearly success syndromes, so in 2003, I got an accident. So that is where I dropped from NMS. I spent almost about Four years in colleges, I cannot make it. So after that, I started writing African everywhere for into an Nigeria army. I said, wow. So by the grace of God, almost about 14 times I applied into an Nigeria army. 14 times he applied no way. into an Nigeria army. Uh -huh. So in this very year, this June 2015, I applied into Nigeria Air Force. Now, June, he applied into Nigeria Air Force, not Nigeria Army now. Uh -huh. This Nigeria Air Force, due to how people they discourage me, they said that oh, boy, it's not easy. Oh. 
I will just try it in this June. Because last year I still tried it. This year I tried it again. So this year, in fact, I want to just go directly in this way. That this life, don't base on Godfather. Don't base on Godfather. Don't base on Godfather. Base on God. Uh -huh. To me, as I am, I get who they call generals, colonels, all kind of officers they call in Nigeria. I mean. But in that very June, I see that there is nothing like Godfather in this life when God wants to bless you. How can a general will write letter of recommendations and a colonel put hand and do everything? They send a whole a lieutenant to go along with me, to go and give it to the instructor. At the end of it, my name did not come out. On August, where they shall listed people that want to go to Cardona, I did not see my name. I was just discouraged because already I was making a covenant with God that me, Otonobo to Elijah, I can never die a civilian. He has made a covenant that I must be a military man. I can never die a civilian. It's a serious covenant. Serious covenant. Eh? So, indeed, at the time that daddy said that we should write petition of this our cases, guess write card. petition. Write petition. Petition there. Write it. Eh? So, in short, you know that after I did not see my name for shortlisted candidates, so I follow go about along this uh, Nigeria Army, this uh, recruitment 74, regular intake that I've been on now. So I follow apply. In fact, I even pay some cash due to follow in due process, almost about 50K to meet up. But nowhere, I did not see my name. And I, which I will even forget about the efforts because since on June 18, that was the exam, the uh, August, I did not see my name for your list, so I just forget about it. So I wonder how we finish this petition of your case. Say, write what is your problem to God. So I was sincerely sit down and say, God, already I make a covenant with you that whether they remain one, I will never be a civilian. Mm. So this is a serious matter. <laughs> serious matter. He told God, God. I don't want to die as a civilian. Serious matter. After you finish the rating of the, the case, you know, it's not that all this one I'm looking for army, it will not mean that I didn't have a good job. I have a job that I'm working, but that job I work in, if you like keep three tables for me in that office, I will not be okay for that job. What I look for is a military war. What I look for is to be a military man. It doesn't matter the job is working. They pay him millions. They pay him thousands. But that is not his problem. His problem is to still be what God wants it to be. Uh -huh. So after we finish writing the case there, so at the end of the day, I just, I see myself in the dream that they be decorate me as a king. So after we finish that, uh, the final 21 day of petition case there. So on the Monday, I saw myself in the dream that they collect me as a king. So in the king, they want to carry me go along with the king among all kings. So on the road there that we are going, I fell down. So in my fell down, it's only me and the one man that be the enemy of that my decoration. So look at it, he fell down. So but me, and only him that see that me, I fell down. So me, I get up quickly. So whether they want to look me, whether I fell down, nothing sure. Even I was even wear white and tied the wrapper and some decoration. So there's nothing sure that I fell down. So the man said, how can you say he fell down? I didn't see anything to show that I fell down. So we got to that place that they want to go and decollect me. When the king, he now see me, he now withdraw back and go back to his room. Neither he should be scared about me. So... That one there passed. And that with the sumi, and I'm praying for God. I say, God, he's not king I want to be. Or be my faith. Because in my village, we don't have king. Home about for 20 years now. This king now is it me that I want to call for my home to go and go and be a king. I will not. He's not. In short, that is not my portion now. So, 
I don't know that this is exactly what he wants to happen now that God delivered to me one on one. So between that week, 10 of this month, I now receive a lot in my phone. So when, in fact, a little more about some hours, I'm not even checking about the alert. After I now come and see the alert, I see they say Nigeria Air Force are being invited to you to Kawo Kaduna to come the raid. Never for Jesus, everybody! Nigerian Air Force has invited you for... So oh. that I've been shortlisted for <laughs> successful candidate. I said, ah, is it, Abi, is it fraud? So I leave it. I don't even want to talk to my dad. So I leave it. So the following day again, they now text me again that I should bring along with all my credentials. That is where I brought all the messages and I go show my dad. He said, well, anything can happen. Shabi, you say you're an OPM member. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. So, because you say you're OPM member. It doesn't mean anything can happen. So <laughs> I carry this in there because just they said I should report on 15. With this matter, I receive on 10 and 11. 12 again, they now call me directly. Say they invited me to Kaduna. So on 14, I was just go plan about to travel to Kaduna. So when I go there, Sunday, they now receive us. This is the first time in the life for, for Nigeria Army recruitment, neither Air Force recruitment to be, to be given a recruitment, that is a recruiting boys into hostel uh, of uh, NDA, Nigeria University Academy staff. So that is where they go give us accommodation. A very comfortable. Very comfortable place. Very nice place. So on Monday, we now started the running. That is the time of, to start the medical on Monday. So on Monday, in fact, as I'm talking to you, it was very serious pain on my waist. I don't have any other problem apart from that waist pain. So I take the anointing oil of OPM. I take oil, drink oil, finish. I say, God, this anointing oil, I want to drink in the instant of neither juice, neither, uh, let me say, Martina, or anything that will give me strength for me to win this running. I take this anointing oil. On 420, up to 316 candidates are being invited that very, this very period now. I was the one that Kali faced. Never go, Never go, Jesus! He was the one that took first. Hey, 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 hey. I saw my God is good. Hey, 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 hey. My God is good. Look at Look at Because he had made a covenant with God. Say, God, I don't want to die as a civilian. I want to die as a military man. Eh? So, in fact, as I'm talking to you now, there should be some officers inside this privacy. They might be sure they will know what I'm talking about. When you finish running, you will now go and run a medical test again. They will now interview a medical test, which is all sickness you have, you must appear that very time. But I thank God in the OPM I am. All the running tests, I pass face, I pass face, I pass face. Nothing Never about. for Jesus, everybody. Never for Jesus. Uh -huh. You know, when you do all this one now, finish. In the final, the ones you don't enter where they call board. For you to, that is where we we'll see what they call generalize. What's that? They call it what? Board. Board. What they call board. Board. When you don't do everything, finish. Your name appears to enter board. You get hope. So at the end of it, they call my name for board. For the old Kwaibom State, I say, oh, they take only two people, which I'm among. Never for Jesus, everybody. Which he was among. Two people from Akwa Ibo State. Because it's each of the states. Each of the states. But two from Akwa Ibo State. He was in Kingdom. And he, the member of Omega Power Ministries. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, this is my name that made this thing you hear about, say, supplementary that you hear about. They say, Emasha, neither the be something uh, Morgan, the, defend, uh, the chief of defense intelligence. Say, so I want to see the name of this person according from this, look, this very local government. Because this local government, never anybody, in fact, if I want to just check about, I didn't think that would reach four people that be Air Force in that local government. But they said they want to see this very person. They this want person to see name. this very person from this local government. When you 
come to OPM, you break record. When you come here, you break record. So, by the grace of God, <laughs> in fact, I don't know what to say, but only thing is that I just give glory to God. Because what I'm passing through, they have been, when I was speaking to my general, our commander said, Daddy, they even called me for this interview of this day for you. He said, is it, is it possible? Because he you know, when he was right, his base finished, but God wanted to show that there is nothing like God for do your own finish, but I will do my own. So at the end of it, in the board, they asked me, who is your godfather? I said, Apostle Chibuso. So, in fact, if I want to speak a lot, I didn't think that we cross today, but let me just end here. So now, and you have been taken yes. as what? As successfully now candidate into Nigeria Air Force, which we are waiting this batch now on 11 December to, to pass out. Then we will now enter on 4th January, being on Monday. It's that, done. Yeah, it's done. So that is why I want to give all the glory to God Almighty. That Nina! Nina! There's no one like you. There's no one like you in our VIP. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You've just listened to the testimonies. You've listened to the message. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. But if you're not born again, I can lead you to Christ right now. Can you just lead the way right now? Lay on the screen. Let me pray with you. Repeat after me. Father Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry. I promise not to go back to my old ways again in the name of Jesus. Now, let me pray for you. Wonderful and great God, say that if my people that I call my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn it for their wicked ways, they will lie from heaven and I will forgive themselves and heal their land. Heal the land of our children today in Jesus' name. Congratulations, you're not a new creature. All things have passed away and everything has become new. Now, you can see me. You can come and pick assignment. You can come and see me by the grace of God. I will give you assignment. The assignment is free. You're not paying any money. In fact, if you go to any church and the pastor says, before you see the pastor, you pay money, that pastor happens to be an armor robber. He's a thief. He's a rogue. There is nowhere the Bible says, before you see any man of God, you pay money, or you feel for him, or you do this express. So you can come and see me, and I'll give you assignment, and your story must change in the name of Jesus. So call me on this number, and Dr. Jesus shall meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. Lord, I need you in my life. Lord, I need you in my life. Lord, I need you in my life today.